In this video demonstration, we will learn how to make a snail out of clay. You will need clay, air dry clay, or kiln clay, a knife, a paper clip, and water. The first thing you will need to do is take your ball of clay and uh, tear it in half. You want one side to be a little bit smaller than the other. We're gonna start with the smaller half first. We're gonna take the smaller half and roll it into a ball. You can do this by rolling it between your hands in your palm, or you can use the table as a surface to roll your clay. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be in uh, a ball shape. Then you're gonna start rolling the clay back and forth, pressing down the table with your palm and rolling the clay into a long cylinder shape. This is going to be the body of the snail. So the body of the snail is just kind of like the body of like a snake and you want one side to be the tail. So this side that I'm pinching is going to be the tail. So I'm just pinching one end to a point. And then the other side will be the head of the snail. So what I'm doing for the head of the snail is just rolling it out, making it round, using my fingers, using the table. Now my snail's body um, is just kind of flat. So I wanna make it look more realistic. So I'm gonna turn the tail up a little bit and the head. Take your time with this part. And then when you're ready to smooth out your clay, just get a little water on your hand and you can rub it over the clay. The purpose of this is to smooth your clay of any creases or cracks. On the tail end, I'm just smoothing it and putting it more into a point. And now I'm putting it on the table because I want it to rest all on its own. So I kind of pushed it down to make underneath flat. All right, I put that part aside and now I'm taking my bigger chunk of clay. And again, I'm gonna start by rolling it into a ball shape. Then same thing as the snail's body, I'm going to roll it into that cylinder shape but I want this uh, chunk of clay to be really long, rolling this into like a snake. You can use the palm of your hand, you can kind of spread out your fingers. The key for this is to make your long um, clay, uh, like snail shape or snake shape to be really long. But you don't want it to get too skinny and you don't want it to be too fat. You want it to be consistent all the way from the top to the bottom. Then once you have it long enough, just a little bit under a foot, you're going to take your water again and you're gonna smooth it out of creases or cracks and then make sure to smooth out the ends. All right, once you have it smoothed out, you can begin to roll up your clay into a spiral shape. The spiral shape is the shell of the snail, like the snail's uh, like home, and you're just twisting it up and then gently smush your spiral shape together so it doesn't unravel. I'm doing this very gentle, going all the way around nice and even. And then where your spiral ends, you wanna take that extra clay and kind of smush it down and then I'm, tap, I'm gonna tap tap on the table to flatten it. I want it to be flat so I can attach it to the snail's body. If it was round, it wouldn't um, have enough surface area to properly attach to the snail's body. Then I'm going to pick up my plastic knife and I'm going to do a technique called score. And then after I score the clay, I will use slip. So scoring is just when you take the plastic a knife tool and I'm just scoring. I'm just scratching gently across the surface of the clay. I'm doing my lines going parallel with the snail's um, shell and going uh, perpendicular. I'm gonna do the same to the snail's body on top. Now the reason I'm scoring is because I'm going to be able to connect the snail's body and shell better if I have a little more traction on the surface of my clay. 
but it's not gonna stick without water. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water and I'm going to dab a decent amount of water onto the areas that I scored. This is the part that's called slip, score and slip. This is how you connect anything when you're working with clay. Professionals use it, um, beginners, it's a very important technique when working with clay. Then I can smush the two parts together carefully. And then I want to um, smooth the area that uh, is connected right there. So see how I'm smoothing the shell to the snail's body? That will ensure that it's like sealed tight and properly secured. Blend it in really well. And then while I'm at it, might as well smooth out the rest of it because this is like basically the final step. Okay. Cool, it's looking like a snail. I'm gonna do one more like kind of smush and then maybe tap it on the table because we want our snail to be able to stand up on its own. Then you're gonna take your uh, paper clip tool and open it up, not all the way, just to get one end open. And this tool will be helpful for making the snail's eye. So I'll just poke a hole for the eye and the other side. And then you can give your snail a little smile face if you'd like. Now, the only other step that I have not shown in this video is how to make the snails a uh, little like, what would you call them, antennas, I guess. Um, and that you can simply do with two little pieces of wire. And then you'll just want your snail to dry. Um, preferably, you want it to dry uh, like standing up the correct way um, so gravity can do its job and push down on it and then after it's dry you can go ahead and paint it thanks for watching